lesson, we'll talk about the Kundalini awakening and the role it plays in your twin flame healing journey. Your Kundalini often awakens when you meet your twin flame. However, some say that this energy can also be activated when you start meditating, doing yoga or connecting with your spiritual body through different spiritual practices. It is however important to understand that Kundalini energy doesn't awaken on command of your ego. It is an enormously powerful life force energy that has an intelligence of, of her own. And it only awakens when your soul deems you to be ready for it. For me, the Kundalini activation happened when I didn't even know what Kundalini awakening actually is, when I met my twin flame. Kundalini awakening is one of the most powerful experiences you can ever go through in your life. Following this experience, your life will never be the same again. But I'm not saying this to scare you, quite the contrary. I want you to drop all of your fears and open yourself up to this process because it will help you purify your energy field to the point of your authentic expression which enables you to feel so much more joy, empathy, inner harmony, authenticity and self-love like you've never experienced before in your life. Kundalini makes you feel the purest presence without anyone present. It's like being enveloped in the bubble of unconditional love of the divine source where you can be your truest self without any masks, any expectations, any limitations, any fears, just being. From the intellectual standpoint, the Kundalini energy is the representation of our inner potential. The most heroic artists, creators, enlightened masters, athletes, singers, scientists and spiritual teachers, you know, people like Leonardo da Vinci, Einstein, Rumi, Dalai Lama, Madonna, Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, Shakespeare, to name a few, are considered to be the people who have tapped into the fullest potential of this incredibly powerful life force energy that Kundalini is, for them to be able to achieve um, their truest, fullest potential at the highest level. However, from the metaphysical and spiritual standpoint, Kundalini is considered a goddess in her own. She's actually the embodiment of the divine feminine energy. And we all know that the feminine energy has been suppressed within our expression due to the fact that we have been living for thousands of years in a, a heavy dominant patriarchal society. This is a social system in which men hold primary power where the masculine energy has been considered to be superior over the feminine. Masculine energy represents the logic, reason, linear, rational, analytical thinking, taking action, winning, leading, power and dominance. This energy has two polarities a positive polarity and a negative polarity but sadly most of us have predominantly only seen the negative expression of the masculine energy be that in our society culture politics even religion where um, the belief systems have been based on a competition competing with each other winning at all costs which has significantly impacted not only our environment um, but also us as human beings fighting with each other and we see this suffering everywhere we look in a society today whether it is our relationship with each other or our relationship with our environment uh, with uh, deforestation and oceans over polluted 
by plastic we are forgetting our reliance on each other and on our environment with the constant pursuit of greed dominance power money so this is the negative expression of the masculine energy that has been dominating within every corner of the society and um, the reason why twin flames have incarnated onto the earth plane at this particular point in the humanity is for us to be able to rebalance these energies and bring much more healthy version of the masculine energy into the world around us most of us have been programmed to operate from the masculine energy and only trust the logical rational scientific explanations of life but as you awaken you will be guided to rebalance your entire being and embody the feminine energy in its full power your kundalini awakening is a tremendous gift and it truly happens once in a lifetime and it's helping you to become whole it only happens to people who are ready to handle this enormously powerful life force energy within who are mature enough to be able to channel this energy productively and not egoically so what it means is that many of us going through the spiritual awakening who have had the kundalini activated will be guided to surrender to something much bigger than ourselves to our purpose to the service to humanity and mother earth and if you are hearing these words and they resonate with you you know that you're one of those people so let's talk about a little bit about the practical side of the kundalini awakening kundalini energy sits at the base of your spine and as you go through your awakening journey it starts to move up like a serpent um, through your spine igniting all of your chakras helping you connect with your power this is where the purging process however begins before you can connect to your power you need to purge anything limiting and disempowering that sits within those energy centers and this is the painful part of the process uh, but trust me it is only temporary and this too shall pass you may know the different chakra centers are associated with different energy uh, belief systems and are also connected to the various organs and glands within the physical body your chakras are responsible for moving the life force energy through you and help your body function optimally whatever that happens is that all energy centers or chakras get blocked as a result of disempowering childhood programming negative belief systems and different life experiences such as trauma abuse and so on and so forth which means that most people operate way below their truest potential because they're not connected to their power so let's talk a little bit about the purpose behind the kundalini awakening so there are three key things that are important to understand as you go through your kundalini awakening first of all the immense life force energy is helping you heal kundalini energy activates your wounds to help you heal them scientists say that we carry trauma up to 14 generations back through our family lineage so imagine what our ancestors have gone through things like war trauma abuse rape terrifying experiences that have been passed down through to you through this family lineage in our in the cellular memory imprints so when your kundalini awakens this tremendous life force energy helps to accelerate not only your own healing but also healing the ancestral trauma you carry within you so it stops with you and it doesn't get passed on to future generations the second purpose behind your kundalini awakening is the expansion of consciousness 
as the kundalini energy travels up your spine you will feel more and more connected to your higher self that will start guiding you as to what you need to heal what you need to learn and embody on this journey and all of this is helping you to expand your consciousness and break through limitations and the third important reason behind your kundalini awakening is to help you connect with your gifts and abilities as you expand your consciousness what happens is that you become more aware of who you are at the deepest level of your being which helps you access your true gifts talents and abilities this however happens with the intention for you to channel this powerful energy into your purpose and become of service to others and the mother earth so let's talk a little bit about the kundalini process itself one caveat to this is that i'm speaking from a personal experience as much as i understand the ancient books and eastern yogic texts i want to give you the real side of things the true honest unedited version of what happens when you go through kundalini awakening because i have over the past six years i have gone through an incredibly painful and very challenging kundalini awakening while there are a lot of similarities between what happened to me and what i read in a yogic text the purpose of this video is to debunk the myths about the kundalini awakening and help you work with the energy in a powerful and productive way at the beginning when the kundalini first awakens in your body you will often feel the experience of this enormous euphoria like state where you feel so incredibly whole ignited from within and invincible this is because you're feeling the source energy being activated within you which brings up the feelings of oneness divinity unconditional love and bliss you often also feel intensely aroused sexually what many people don't understand is that the sexual energy is actually the same as the creative energy and therefore the, the, the energy of the divine source it's very healing nurturing soothing and blissful sadly many twin flames confuse this intense sexual arousal with only a desire to have sex and express this energy outwardly to satisfy their physical needs I know personally that this can drive you crazy and it feels incredibly intense what is however happening is that this kundalini energy needs to be channeled inwardly towards your healing the purging process can be extremely exhausting and the kundalini process is actually designed to give you energy uh, to help you through this journey but it happens like a roller coaster ride as the life force energy moves through each chakra it rotates purifying your old belief systems trauma negativity any self-sabotage abuse emotional pain that you have experienced in the past and um, at the end of this cycle of purging there is this orgasmic like release of pure bliss energy and it happens before the the kundalini moves up to the next chakra so this is why you will have those extreme bursts of sexual desire i'm running through your body awakening your every cell feeling present feeling blissful feeling ignited from within that is the kundalini energy the kundalini energy is actually helping you transmute pain into joy but while the purging is happening it may feel like hell and this is the raw truth that i want you to understand and i don't want you to be scared of it because it's it's just a cycle it's just sort of um connecting you to that past pain so that you can acknowledge it see it face it and then release it it's a temporary thing 
the key thing is not to run from it but connect with your emotional body acknowledge it and release it out of your system you can speed this process up by using powerful energy healing tools and modalities such as the grace method where i help you rewire your subconscious limiting and core beliefs and heal the mental body or the uh, grace uh, inner child healing where i teach you how to heal your inner child and your core wounds so that you can release all of that emotional pain out of your emotional body i teach all of this in the level two twin flame healing course so if you like what you have seen so far i invite you to consider that as a next step in your evolution journey because i'll share many powerful healing tips and practical tools how you can help yourself self-heal and navigate this journey with much more ease and grace the things to do when your kundalini energy gets stuck now this is something that not many people talk about but it does happen from time to time where the kundalini energy may get stuck in one of our chakras you may be experiencing frustration depression or feeling powerless and confused to help the kundalini energy move again you can try one of the following tips first one is to increase your physical movement which helps to move the energy through the body and sort of get that energy unstuck and move up you can consider dancing swimming even walking yoga or any other type of exercise but i i much more recommend sort of vigorous cardio exercise because that's when you really get all half tub and half tub and you sweat a lot and, and it helps to move the energy through your body faster. Second thing I recommend doing is increasing your emotional pain release which can be done through therapy, trying different energy healing modalities or even tuning in yourself to see what you need to heal next and connecting with your higher self to guide you in this process. The third thing I recommend is to increase mental stimulation through reading, listening to audiobooks, going to workshops and expanding your consciousness, reprogramming limiting beliefs and any other subconscious mind healing work and going to seminars, workshops um, with the intention to learn and expand your consciousness. So, learning about energy healing learning about duality learning about levels of consciousness learning about the energy field all of this is immensely valuable for your growth and evolution and the fourth thing i really recommend is to increase your spiritual connection to yourself through connecting with your higher self in meditation breath work or other practices You'll find that when you detach from overthinking the current situation, whatever it might be, and switch focus onto something else, the energy starts to flow again. So remember this phrase as you go for your journey. Detachment leads to flow. I want to highlight some of the incredible benefits that Kundalini Awakening brings you many people experience an increase in iq memory recall and concentration where their brain hemispheres synchronized more optimally and are able to communicate with each other better so people may notice that they suddenly get better at maths or become more creative or are able to solve problems with much more ease the second benefit of Kundalini Awakening is that we become our own healers through developing our extrasensory perceptions, intuition and deep inner knowing. We pay more attention to our intuition and are able to connect much more easily with any self-sabotaging habits or patterns of behavior that hold us back. 
we are able to perceive our being at different levels of energy, the mental, emotional, spiritual and physical being and heal across these levels in a connected fashion. So for example, when I'm rewiring my subconscious limiting beliefs and eliminating these empowering programs from my consciousness, at the same time I am removing emotional pain that those negative beliefs have caused me in the the past. So this is what I mean healing in a connected fashion. The third gift is a spiritually enhanced sexual intercourse. From the very beginning of humanity sex has been the most natural way to discover our spiritual connection with the divine. Through this orgasmic release and spiritual communion with the divine, we can experience the deepest state of trust, relaxation and bliss of an absolute unshakable inner peace. Most of us realize that sex is a deeply sacred practice and we stop seeking to express this energy outwardly casually but instead channel it inwards into much more meaningful things like our purpose and service to humanity. The next gift that this journey brings us is the awakening of psychic abilities, heightened awareness and even mystical experiences that can help us transcend the logical mind and connect with the sublime. We can also experience an ability to get into flow of creation, download different ideas from the source and channel them into the purpose. We can experience enhanced compassion and higher levels of empathy that allows us to experience the oneness, what it really feels like to feel the oneness in our body, not just perceive it through our mind. When we become more aware of ourselves, we can become much more aware of others because the kundalini energy is pushing us to start operating much more increasingly from our heart center. The purpose of the kundalini awakening is to live in integrity with our spirit or higher self with an open heart and expanded mind fully expressing our most authentic self and when you go through all of your chakra activations embody the enlightened state of consciousness and finally master the state of being within you. This is what it means to live in the fifth dimensional level of consciousness.